everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching and joining me for day four of the Mater to Surprise fourth birthday celebration week. So every day this week I'm sharing a different tutorial and I will be featuring a exclusive bundle that we put together and showing you a fun card using it. So if you're just joining today, check back on the last three days and just look at the links in the description box below and they will take you to the bundles that we've had. You don't get to see all the bundles coming, they are a surprise, but once we get to the end of the week, you can then look back at all of them as well. Maybe you wanna wait um, until you see them all and then treat yourself to something. So today's bundle is a really nice one. So this is using the Showstoppers 2 and it's the triple oval accordion die set. I've then teamed that with the Cheers stamp set and all of these dies that you get inside. You'll see them in a bit more detail in a moment. And then I'm using the Sweets Edition set, which has this lovely bunting. You can make up all these little lollipops. You've got the stick there and you've got these nice little heart apertures as well. So I'll be using some of those in the card. And then I'm using the Have a Drink on Me stamp set. You've got all your lovely images there. You've got some fun pun sentiments and you get all your outline dies as well to cut those out. All of these sets, I already have tutorials up on the channel showing you how to use them in all different ways. 3D kind of style cards, kinetic style cards. There's lots along with the Showstoppers too as well. So check out the playlists because um, there's tons of inspiration already out there. What I'm trying to do with all of the tutorials that I'm sharing is show the dies maybe working in a different way than they were intended. So with this one, I'm actually going to turn it into a box style card. So you want to cut two of the main plate. So it is a large plate, this one. So you will need your large die machine to cut this one out. It will fold down to a five by seven style card. if You're just making it as like a gatefold style, but there's lots of ways you can fold this and add on to it and yeah, make it into those big showstoppers and so on. Cut two of them. I've used the cream cardstock from Creative Craft Products. This one's the pearl colour. So I've already got one prepared there. So once you've passed it through, I always like to just go over the score lines with my score tool. Just move these out of the way. You should see all the bits I've done anyway. And just go back over those guidelines. So you've got one there. You've got one at the top here and one at the bottom. And you've got another one goes all the way through and then we're going to add in some extra score lines where you've got this join here you'll see there's no score line just find a track that, that you can line it up to and then just score through the top bit all the way through the middle and the bottom and again across to this side just find a track to line up the middle here score score and again at the bottom there Okay, you've also got some score lines here. I am going to add those in. You might not fold it that much, but it won't hurt. There we go. Okay, so do that on both pieces. Okay, and then we want to fold everything. So you're going to fold these ones right through. And again, that one there. And then fold them back this way. And that's how the card, if you're just making a single one, you can make this gate fold. And then you'll pop out, so you fold these score lines and this middle one okay so you have your gatefold and then when it opens you have this shape so it's a really lovely style there's dies I've got them all here you can extend onto here so you can start to obviously make it longer you can double it up that way loads of things to do with this like I said check out the playlist there's lots of inspiration but what we're going to do with this one is fold them now back again that way okay and then these new score lines that you've made, you want to create a valley fold. And again on this side. Okay. So we've got this shape. So do that twice. So I've already got my other one here already. But we're going to now stick these back to back, but just attaching the side pieces. We've got this box card which will fold flat because you fold in the sides like so. so I'm going to use the construction glue and you want to add it just to the top bit there all the way down that half oval shape and then just sit that over give that a minute to dry and then just repeat the same on the other end and just sit that over that one and just give that all a minute to dry so now to decorate some of the oval shapes are slightly different because of the the 
outer basically what you can do if i just talk you through it so if you cut this larger one i've actually cut a few here because i was going to do something different and then i changed my mind they will sit over the top of here now obviously because i put the fold in there it won't go right in but that would sit over that side so you could see how you could extend it out that way and then you've got so these three nest together and they will cover the middle panel okay so you've got your mats and layers this larger one is for the outside however the middle two of this one you can use for the mat layers on this piece okay so when you get it nest those three together and then you'll know that that's the one for the the sides there and these ones are for in there you've then got these two here which are your mats and layers for these little panels here mats and layers for just the half oval if that's what you want the mats and layers for these panels so for every single one so i've already gone ahead and cut this black one to go in the middle and then i've done this one in white to go on top and i've just used the bubble embossing folder i thought the bubbles worked well with the theme with the drinks and the champagne and the bubbles and also the sentiment celebrate with bubbles and then all I've done for the side piece, I'm not going to have mats and layers. I'm just having black matte layers and I'm leaving the tops plain because I've got this bunting and it actually pops quite nicely against the cream. So you can see those ones in there and then here, here and then two more for the little side panels there as well. So I'm going to stick all those down next. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then to decorate, I'll just show you all the bits again. So I've cut the bunting and I'm gonna have that kind of snip into it and just have all different, I've done two different golds and the black. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> and then I've used this one here and the smallest circle and just created these little swirls but you imagine them in red and white they look really nice as candy canes and you've got like i said the little lollipop stick but i'm going to have a few of those dotted around but if we start with the drinks so i've just heat embossed these two images here and also the ice cubes in gold and then i've just used um, these colors here 26 25 132 and wg1 that's just because I'm using golds and creams on here. So I'm going to have maybe something like that. And then, yeah, there's the little ice cubes. They'll be like the last kind of decoration I lay down. But in here, you get a lovely um, die set with this, um, along with the stamp set. So you get your little like bottle tops. You've got your corkscrew. You've got a couple of champagne fancy kind of cocktail glasses you've got a beer bottle beer glass a beer token you've got your cork and you've got your champagne bottle so i've used a few of these pieces so there's the champagne bottle so I'll probably have that something like that there is one of the glasses i've got the cork which has got to be kind of up towards the top and then the little corkscrew there and then the sentiment of heat embossed there which is celebrate with bubbles you've got lovely bubbly it's party time cheers and happy birthday something i want to build up you know, if you've been following me you know i like to do these little clusters and then just kind of add these extra bits in the ice cubes just kind of falling down it's going to be a quite a full card i want to throw a lot of this and then i've used the little hearts as well You've got them there you've also got a little heart in the middle of that one plus all the hearts on here and i'll just scatter them around as well so i'm gonna keep it on high speed so you can watch me sticking it all down and then i will show you it when it's all finished Okay, so there is the card all finished. 
I love this. I think it's really, really cool. You can see it's got that fun shape and just loads and loads of detail and decoration. All folds down like so. I think it looks really nice in the envelope and then you've got your space on the back there to write your message. In fact, I just need to add one of the other panels, which I'll do in a bit. So I'm going to make my envelope. This is a six by seven card when it folds flat. So I've just got the punch board here and it's telling me that a six by seven card, I need a piece of ten and a quarter squared, which I've already cut. So I want to score it four and three quarters. So I'm just going to do my first punch and score. And then I always just like to then work on the opposite side again four and three quarters and score and then ignore the measurement now just focus on this line and lining it up with the point like so and it should also line up this piece will line up there punch score and then again look down here we'll line up that one punch and score and then just fold in all of your sides and that on both sides. I've just got my gold wax beads melting just there. They're nearly ready. And then just to ensure it fits in the envelope, if you pop it in there when you seal it, I'll just bring around the sides and then bring up the bottom. So take it out and then you've got what I call a bouncy envelope. You'll see now it's got that bounce, which means it's got that space to hold the card. Because I'm not going to be sending it yet, I'm going to just pop this wax paper in between. Pour out my wax. And I've got my happy birthday seal. Just leave that to set. I've picked out some stamps because it's a big envelope. I've gone for some bigger ones here. I do this just for decoration. It would go into another envelope or it'd be hand delivered but i just like the look of the old stamps so i've just got a selection there of colors that are going to match and then i've got my little stamps here from my happy mail stamp set this is already linked um, below my videos and i'm going to stamp and decorate the front once that's all set okay so give it a little wiggle there we go and there's that lovely wax seal and then I can stick down now these on the front and get that all stamped. Okay, so there's the finished envelope. And then again, nice close up of that card. I think it's really, really cool. So if you've got this die set, hopefully this is just giving you another idea and a way to use it. And for anybody new, I hope you like it. Like I said, check out all of the bundles. You can find them by clicking here. That'll take you to the homepage where we've got all the bundles for this week. I'll also have the product all individually linked in the description box as well below. Make sure you're subscribed and that way you won't miss out on what I've got to share for the rest of the week, but also everything else I'm going to share. And I'll have the playlist coming up here, which will have all of the cards that I'm making to celebrate four years of May to Surprise. So thanks again, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.